Plants vs. Zombies is one of the greatest game franchises of all time, being extremely memorable, unique and nostalgic. Throughout the years and across many games, there have been a ton of very memorable moments. So today, that's what we're going to be checking out. We're going to be taking a look at the top 10 Plants vs. Zombies moments. Now, these are not in any particular order, and of course, these are subjective. However, I think number one, you'll all agree with me when we get to it. So, we're going to start off strong with piloting the Butterhawk in Garden Warfare 2. Now, this is from probably one of, if not the most memorable levels in Garden Warfare 2, where you get to pilot the Butterhawk and rain fire down on all zombies below. You have an arsenal of different weapons and you are just an absolutely overpowered killing machine and it's just a hell of a lot of fun. Now, I actually reckon, I don't know whether this is true or not, I actually reckon this is a parody of a very memorable Call of Duty 4 level called Death From Above, where you get to pilot an AC-130 and do pretty much the exact same thing and you do have similar weapons as this so that's what I reckon and yeah it's a really really amazing level if you've not played the story mode of God of Warfare 2 this is one of the many reasons to do so. At number 9 we have of course battling Dr. Zomboss in the original Plants vs. Zombies. Now, I think one of the reasons why this is so memorable is because it's so different to all the other levels in Plants vs. Zombies. And unlike PvZ2, we don't see this boss fight at any other point in the game. We don't get like to the end of each section and there's a boss battle. We do, of course, have some different types of level, but we don't have this sort of giant one boss and you've got to try and defeat it type of thing. It's just such an epic showstopper of a finish to the game. You're getting attacked by so many different types of zombies. There's explosions, there's giant fireballs, frostballs, there's a giant robot you're trying to defeat. And yeah, it's just incredible. So yeah, this one is definitely one of the most memorable moments. Next, we're going to head to Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Now, this game doesn't have quite as strong story and stuff as the other games. However, the gameplay can be very addicting. And part of that gameplay is RNG, the bit of luck that's always involved with this game. Now, this is both a pro and a con. But in PvZ Heroes, no matter how long you've played the game or what cards you have, there's a bit of luck involved and you could sneak a win. And one of the most satisfying and memorable moments is making a comeback from an almost guarantee lose. I'm deaded. Oh, hang on, wait, wait, we could win this. Come on, Jester, please. Yes, yes. Jester, 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 Jester. Well, this next one, we're heading to Battle for Neighborville, the game that didn't go quite to plan. But Whilst there were some critical problems with Battle for Neighborville, one of the things it did do get right was the Easter eggs. And there are an absolute ton of these, but one of them in particular was very memorable. And this, of course, is the garlic Easter egg that could be triggered in Giddy Park. All you had to do was find this little garlic stuffy on the shelf, activate it, and head on down to the main section of Giddy Park and you would be greeted by a gigantic garlic that would explode out of the water and would be an unmissable sight for anybody who was there. Heading on back now to the original Plants vs Zombies, we have everybody's favorite game mode, Walnut Bowling. Now, I think if you think about this from playing Plants vs Zombies for the very first time, I think this is why it's so memorable because Whilst you're trying to get over the concept that you're defeating and killing zombies with plants, suddenly out of nowhere, they give you walnut bowling. And I think it's just both hilarious and such a fun time uh, that it just had to make this list. I mean, we all love that game mode. In every PVZ fan game or mod, everybody still wants walnut bowling. And if they manage to pull it off, oh, that's, that's extra brownie points. But... Yeah, it is one hell of a game mode and we need to see more of it. We need to see some expansions of it because it is, it is awesome. We are now already halfway through our list. So at number five, we're going to the original Garden Warfare. Now, the most memorable moment I think in here is getting your first ever elite boss wave. So this was a part of the ops game mode where you'd have to defend your garden from the ongoing hordes of zombies. And every so often, every five rounds, you would get a boss wave and 
Dr. Zombos would roll his jackpot machine that would decide who you were going to be battling. Now, what could happen is if you got three of the same boss, so if like Yeti, for example, you would then have to fight an elite boss wave, which was completely different. It got its own cutscene. And yeah, it's just really unexpected. And I think as well why this is so memorable in Garden Warfare 1 is because these boss rounds are a lot less frequent. I think in Garden Warfare 2, you get them a bit more. But yeah, in here, it was a, a hell of an experience. And trying to take on three Yetis, three Baron Von Bats, or whoever it was, was always an extra bit of challenge. But it was a fun challenge. Now, number four is kind of the only external one I'd class. And it's kind of a personal one as well. And that is discovering the world of pvz mods and fan games because this opens an entire new world of possibilities that's right we're getting, <laughs> getting proper in with this yeah but it opens up so many doors there's so much content out there that has been made by an incredible community that yeah it just you, th you think you were finished with pvz but oh that is just the beginning there's so much out there so much fun to be had and yeah, so many memories to make. But yeah, knowing that you can change the game, knowing you can experience PvZ in a different way and in a customized way is very, very cool and very, very memorable. Heading on back now to Garden Warfare 2, let's talk Infinity Time. So this is a really interesting game mode that is unlocked once you've completed the Garden Warfare 2 story mode, where you battle in a new realm against gnomes in dinosaur and cat mechs. It's absolutely crazy, it's hilarious, it's amazing. But one of the most memorable things about this is the intro. So there's two intros, there's a zombie intro and there's a plant intro. And and it's flipping awesome with the amazing soundtrack of Highway to the Danger Zone, which I'm not going to put on screen because I will definitely get a copyright strike. But it's an incredible moment. It's really, really cool. And it sets you right on in just to blast your way through the crazy, unstoppable gnome army. And number two, we have another battle for Neighborville one. Now, this is related to a very small mini boss that became available during the Look of the Zombie Festival, which was still when the game was getting some updates. And this for me was kind of the one event that got everybody in the community talking and it got everybody involved. Now, Giddy Park had a lot of random events that didn't really do much, but this one, A, because it gave you three prize bulbs whenever you defeated it, but also because it was a tough battle and nearly impossible to complete on your own. And I remember loads of people just getting involved, absolutely wailing on this poor gnome boss. Um, but yeah, for me, that was one of the most memorable moments, those moments where the community gets together and has a really nice time. Finally, at number one, I think you can all guess exactly what this is. And if you can't, I mean, are you really a Plants vs. Zombies fan? Of course, number one has to be Zombie on Your Lawn. That's right, the amazing track, the most iconic track, one of the most iconic tracks in all of gaming, in all of gaming history, created by the amazing Laura Shigihara. This needs no introduction. It's an absolute masterpiece, and I'm going to leave it for you to enjoy for the rest of this video. Okay, maybe not the whole video, but a good chunk. So there you go guys, the top 10 Plants vs Zombies moments. I hope you've enjoyed and please do let me know in the comments below what your most favourite moment was and if you have any others that I've missed off this list, I'm bound to have missed some so I'm really interested to hear what they are. But other than that, remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys, bye, bye.